peace fam it's your boy Armin Ott back with another video alright today gonna be more of a touchy topic okay first I wanna start off by saying I am not religious I'm not homosexual nor am I a satanist um I'm my own man you feel me I do believe in a, a divine feminine energy I do believe that and I do believe in the God okay just not the one that's been you know molded into our brains and beat into our brains and whipped into our brains I don't believe in it okay I don't believe in something that over a million people follow I can't do that I can't do that because now that's just a wave and it's leading you to something that's not safe but anyways, I'm going to touch on this today. I'm touching on a um, sensitive topic to some people because this man has been getting uh, backlash for this video that he dropped called G, uh, J. Christ, Lil Nas X. Okay. He began backlash. He also dropped a couple of pictures of him eating bread and drinking wine. In his, in his picture, he was eating bread and drinking wine, but he was doing it gluttonously. Like, he was shoving all the bread down and drinking all the wine and getting drunk. You feel me? But, what is that symbolic for? Drinking the blood, eating the flesh. That's Christianity. That's, that's a ritual, okay? They do that every month as a ritual. I think it's like every first Sunday. Or every second Sunday, something like that, they're going to eat some bread and drink some blood. And when, if you really want to, you know, get in and get in there and get higher up, you're going to dip yourself. You're going to baptize yourself, which is symbolically dipping yourself, washing, being covered in the blood of Jesus. So you're covering yourself in blood. This is your religion that tells you to do this. And. Are, is, and when it's something is molded into you as a toddler, as a baby, as an infant, you don't understand how unnormal this shit is. Okay? You gotta wake up. Damn! I've been eating, I've been going over here drinking this shit, acting like it's blood, acting like it's flesh, getting dipped in blood, covering myself in somebody's blood. Praying to somebody that's dead on the cross, a dead frequency. What the fuck have I been doing? They make it look pretty. The music sounds great. But everything that glitter ain't gold. When they latch something onto your mind from an infant, that's an agenda. That's an agenda. When they, when they, when they, when it, they at your door every week trying to talk to you, that's an agenda. When they trying to shove it in your hand, the goddamn book in your hand, that's an agenda. Okay? Lil Nas X is a Satanist. <laughs> Drinking blood, eating flesh, being covered in blood is a ritual that Satanists do. Lucifer and Jesus is the same person. Jesus came from heaven to earth. Who also came from heaven to earth? Lucifer. He was kicked from heaven to earth. He wasn't kicked to hell. He was kicked to he to earth. To rule earth. Okay. He was here to rule earth. What did God tell Lucifer? When he kicked them out, hey, they you gonna be embarrassed in front of all nations and ridicule. What have y'all ever seen Passion of Christ? He went to every nation and said, Oh, I am I am. Oh you oh you God? Yeah. Nigga, they laughed at that nigga. That's what they the same person. It's the same person. Okay? Whether you want to believe it or not. I'll show you pictures. I'll, you, I'm, the pictures are on. on I'm gonna put them on here, so you see them. You see them on here. I pre-recorded this video, so you, so we gotta understand the mockery and the on us. They're not mocking Jesus. They mocking you. They playing with you. 
They laughing at you because you, oh man, this nigga playing with my, man, we love Jesus. Man, we'll beat your ass about Jesus. Oh, for real? You ain't never even met the motherfucker. You ain't never even heard the motherfucking voice. Oh, and if you tell me you heard God's voice, you schizophrenic. You seen my video on here where I just broke down the movie, uh, his only his only son. The nigga woke up, somebody he heard God voice in his head. Go sacrifice your only son to me. Abraham got up, told his wife, Oh, I gotta go do a burnt sacrifice. He ain't tell her what. This nigga heard a voice in his head that he think was God. Got up, told his son, Hey man, you gotta go with me. We gotta go do a burnt sacrifice. Whole time he about to go sacrifice his son. His son like, oh, we, oh, we got to do a burn sacrifice unto the Lord. Let's go, nigga. He about to, he about to burn you. He about to burn you. Your daddy is schizophrenic, a schizophrenic maniac. And got you following him. Who that sound like? Come on, man. God told this man to go burn his child. This is what I'm telling y'all, man. A man wrote this book. A crazy motherfucker wrote this book. Okay? And, uh, you can't be mad at somebody. Before you judge somebody, judge yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Think about what you've been practicing all these years. 